Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've got a lot of new and updates for you. I know in my last video I was like I've got these health issues, I'm getting tests done. Well I have a diagnosis and I'm like happy about that because even though the diagnosis isn't the best, it's like I'm glad that I'm diagnosed and my symptoms make a lot more sense and I'm not going crazy if that makes sense. So I have been diagnosed with a autoimmune thyroid disease called Hoshimoto's and it's basically where my body is attacking my thyroid because it sees it as like something foreign when it's not and so I'm getting a lot of symptoms like fatigue and acne and Lots of fun stuff, but before I get into that, I do want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, Skillshare is a frequent sponsor in here. I absolutely love them. They're a platform where you can go there and learn probably just about anything online. They kind of have a course about everything, but it's all different stuff like, you know, getting creative with a camera, taking photos, editing videos. Uh, there's heaps of stuff on there about journaling, yoga, fitness and health stuff, like literally anything like business stuff. That's kind of what I'm using for it at the moment. Um, but I absolutely, I absolutely love it because it's such a small fee per month. I think it's like less than $10 per month and uh, you get a whole array of classes. Uh, so it's really cool if you want to learn something new or even just see if you're interested in something a bit more before you go and blow heaps of money and then realize you don't actually want to do that if that makes sense. So the memberships are super cheap and I think they're around like 10 under $10 uh, for the month, which is like so insanely cheap when you're getting so many uh, classes. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, I do have a little deal for you. So for a limited time only, click the click the link in my description and you can get a free trial of Skillshare uh, Premium. But thank you so much to Skillshare for making this video possible. All right guys, so I wanna get more into the new and what I'm gonna be doing with Hoshimoto's. Actually, let me just grab the tripod thing because my hand is getting super sore and I also wanna grab my coffee. So the symptoms of Hoshimoto's uh, or yeah, we'll just call it Hoshimoto's is um, like acne, which I was telling you guys about yesterday. I do have makeup on at the moment. Um, weight gain. What else? Oh, so a huge symptom is fatigue and foggy brain, like forgetfulness. And that's what I have been experiencing this whole year. And as you guys know, I run a couple of companies. I do all the things. I do social media. Um, I have a whole team. And that's what I have struggled with the most is just feeling like I'm constantly tired and exhausted. And to be honest, like I kind of put that down to just doing too much. But in saying that the reason why I kept getting the tests is because I was just like, I know myself and I was like, this just doesn't feel right. Like it just did not feel right. So long story short, I got diagnosed with Hoshimoto's. I'm very happy about that because now I can actually, you know, deal with it and hand, handle it. So supposedly it's like, my doctor was saying it's kind of like incurable and it's more something you manage. And so I was like, that's great. Uh, but I am going to see my naturopath today. So I thought I would vlog. So I'll go see her. I've got all my tests ready for her. And then I might have a bit of a plan attack just because I was getting all my stories telling my Instagram stories telling you guys. And I had a lot of people say that they actually have the same condition and they'd love to know like sort of just what I do. So that will be on later on in the vlog. Also something very new, something you would have seen in the intro, introducing first ever RNC merch. So as you guys know, I have a podcast called the Rise and Conquer podcast. And I started that as an outlet because I love long form conversations. So anyway, I was telling you guys the other day, but season three of the Rise and Conquer podcast launched just the other day. I don't know when this video is going out, so I'll try and think about that. Uh, but basically we wanted to do something a bit extra, a bit fun. 
done in true Georgie style. And I designed these bloody notepads. And so I wanna quickly run through these because I'm so excited. This is actually, as you guys have seen in any of my morning routine videos, I'm always sitting here journaling and then doing a to-do list. And so basically I just put my daily rituals and practices that I do in my journal, my to-do list in notepads with uh, prompts so you can do it too. Why there's two notepads? So first of all, introducing Organize to Rise and Conquer, which is a to-do daily notepad, the Rise and Conquer Your Every Desire, which is a manifesting notepad. So why the both? Honestly, as you guys know by now, I'm a big believer in manifesting and creating your own reality. And what I've realized is over the years, I'm a, I'm like a get shit done person. You guys know this, I'm doing a million things at once. But what I've realized and is so powerful and is honestly why I have, you know, succeeded so much and done so much in such, you know, a young age, just in regards to like me and Tim, you know, we have three houses and I have two companies and I'm doing a lot. And honestly, it's because I'm productive and I take inspired action. But also with that, I am so aligned and clear and vibrating on, you know, the right vibration of what I want to attract. I get there so much faster. And this is why I've created both of these notepads because I honestly think you need both. The first one talking about manifesting, this is going to get you on the right vibe. This is going to get you to feel aligned. This is going to shift any limiting beliefs that is blocking you. And I've literally done prompts for you. What's really important about this and what people don't talk about in kind of like the spiritual woo woo world, especially in self development, um, you know, it's very kind of like, oh, you know, manifest and just wait for, you know, the things to come to you and I like, I get that. But what I found is like, yes, manifest, do this work, especially daily, not just like, you know, once at the start of the year, do this daily. Um, and then also make sure that you are being productive and you are actually taking the inspired action. So I really think you need both. What's huge about this is also what I'm a big believer in is, and I talk about this all the time, is you can't just make a goal at the start of the year, forget about it. You guys know I wrote, I write down my goals, my desires every single day. You know when you want a new car and you're like, oh, I want a white Mercedes. And then you start seeing that exact car, the exact type everywhere and you're like, Everyone has this car, but that's not the reality. The reality is not everyone has that car, is now that you've told your brain you want it, your brain is picking up the signs and showing you it. So it's the exact same thing is if you're writing down your goals every single day um, and your desires and you're getting productive and aligned, you're telling your brain what you want and you'll see, you know, you'll find the opportunities faster. Your brain will show you the inspired actions um, and you just get there way faster because you're so clear and focused. But anyway, I am going to have some breakfast because I'm bloody starving and then get to my appointment. was so bloody delicious. I smashed that too. I was so hungry. It's like my OG pancake recipe. It's just like so simple, like eggs and bananas um, with the new fried Thrive Protein pancake batter. 
so delicious and i know i just said in a like i think my last video that i like was cutting out eggs because of my skin but i am still having eggs like once a week so i'm just cutting out like i'm not doing it daily or anything like that um but honestly now i kind of know that i have hashimoto's that is a lot to do with my skin rather than it being like an allergy thing um so i'll still have it like once or twice a week because i do love that recipe but just quickly guys so the new thrive protein just pull that out um new thrive protein flavors vanilla pancake batter literally my bloody favorite so delicious it is like a perfect twist of classic vanilla plus it's just got that extra tasty batter taste which i just i really like that and it is so smooth like you guys know um, like vegan protein can be like a little bit gritty and gross if you have tried it. But honestly, guys, like Thrive is so smooth. If you check out our reviews, that's always a big thing that our customers say. Uh, and then also another new flavor that came in. So these two together is the chocolate swirl. And when we were doing these flavors, I was obsessed with Cadbury marble chocolate. And so this is honestly what that tastes like. And it really like, it smells like Cadbury chocolate. It's weird. It is so good. So if you're a chocolate person, chocolate swirl, and again, non gritty. And as you guys know, a huge thing with our Thrive Protein is it is more than just protein. So we have maca powder, psyllium husk, um, Siberian ginseng, uh, digestive enzymes, magnesium, zinc. If you guys look on the back here, I'll just tell you, but it says we have vitamin B12 in there and for your RDI, which is recommended diary, dietary intake, you have 11%, so you're getting vitamin B, um, Calcium, you have 20%, which is amazing. Iron, you're getting 58% in this one serve uh, of what you need for iron. That's like insane and so important. I um, am currently low in iron, so I'm not supplementing, but like amazing that I'm having this. Uh, and I think I will supplement. I will obviously let you guys know about that. Um, magnesium, 20%, um, and zinc, 101%. At Naked Harvest, we were always about a going above and beyond and more than just supplements, making sure they're super like lifestyle and health-based. So that's why we have added extra ingredients in our Thrive because otherwise, you know, I used to make, you know, smoothies and have to add a bunch of crap in. So if you are thinking of a vegan protein, get onto Thrive, guys. I will put my YouTube discount here. I don't give, like, I talk about Thrive all the time on Instagram. My dogs are crazy. <laughs> I don't give, um, sorry, I talk about Thrive all the time on Instagram. I don't give them a discount. I give you guys a discount because I really feel like you're my fam on here. So if you want to try Naked Harvest, use this, this discount. It is for 10% off. But I've got to run. I've got my appointment. So I'll check in after and we'll do a bit of a debrief. From the naturopath just had a bit of lunch i sat in the sun one of the my naturopath did say make sure i'm getting appropriate vitamin d um because that can really be a big sign with that can really help sorry with autoimmune autoimmune conditions so she's like literally make sure you're getting like 10 to 15 minutes every single day so i just sat in the sun looking a bit oh, a little bit red and she said not to wear sunscreen so i know that's a bit controversial but I wear sunscreen any other time if I'm there longer okay so basically 
update from my naturopath and I'll put her details in the description. She made me feel a lot better about it because she's like, honestly, it is so common. Um, it's a really common autoimmune condition and it's really common because this day and age we are a little bit stressed and um, she can, she said kind of like stress and lifestyle factors is like a bit of a trigger for this condition to sort of flare up. So her plan is to kind of treat it um, with kind of almost to the root cause. So hopefully in about eight weeks, I'm going to get more blood tests done and hopefully I can get off that medication that I'm currently taking. I am taking a thyroid medication. Um, but basically what that thyroid medication does is it gives my body the thyroid um, hormone so my body doesn't have to, um, you know, overproduce it and really struggle to produce it. But she said, if you kind of don't manage the root cause and like, you know, the root condition, you rely on that and you'll have to be on that for the rest of your life. And it's just, you know, not the greatest on your liver and just to be taking a medication. And she said, especially cause I think we'll be able to manage it um, with sort of lifestyle and stuff. So I got some supplements from her. Her biggest concern was my iron and my zinc and um, just a couple of the vitamins were quite low. So I've got iron tablets. Uh, and then I also have this like herbal mix, which is obviously very personal to my conditions, but she's given me a bit of a thing. So I'll read it out to you. On the herbal formula supports thyroid health and adrenal function, reduces anxiety, helps with stress, um, blood building and supports like my menstrual cycle. And then I've got two iron tablets I'm taking, which just supports energy levels and improves iron levels. And then I've also got selenium, which reduces thyroid antibodies and supports thyroid function. So she said, making sure you get selenium in your diet is so important. And then she's kind of just told me avoid foods that have negative effects on thyroid function, which includes raw brassics, so broccoli, brassa, brussel sprouts, kale, cauliflower, turnips, cabbage, radish. She said I can eat those cooked, but not raw. Um, she said also to avoid soya beans, soya products, peanuts, pine nuts, um, and millet. No idea what that is. So then increase zinc rich foods, oysters, pumpkin seeds, grass fed, grass fed red meat, um, increase psyllium risk foods, Brazil nuts, increase um, tyrosine rich foods, which is grass fed organic animal meat, increase iodine rich foods, which is all oysters, seafood, seaweed, seaweed, uh, seaweed and iodized salt. And then she said increase omega-3 fatty acids, which is fish, olive oil, nuts, seeds, which helps reduce inflammation and is key um, for having issues with your thyroid. And also avoid gluten where possible as that can be a trigger and worsen health and inflammation. Yeah, so that's basically about it. When I was there and she was talking, like I like thinking in my head, like Georgia, it is time to get into a season of looking after yourself. And a word kept popping up in my head and I was like, I need to like nourish myself a bit more. And I think it's because I just kind of like, I go and go and go. Like I just, I love doing new things. I love releasing new things. I, I love, you know, putting out so much content and I love like, you know, everything I do and I love my job so much. So I just, I find it so easy just to like keep going. Um, but I've realized like I really kind of need to give back to myself. And so I was thinking while I was in there, I was like, you know, we're going into summer, I like which it, it's spring in Australia. So I'm like, we're going to spring and summer. Like I think it's time I give back to myself a bit more and I create a bit more boundaries and I create a bit more me time. 
and I just kind of give my body the rest and recovery it needs because I really feel like this is a clear sign and she did say I think it would be your stress that has, you know, really triggered this autoimmune condition. And like, I, I don't know, like I, I was like a little bit sad cause I was just like, oh, just like another thing. Does that make sense? Like I, I started getting a little bit sad, but I've kind of just given myself a pet talk and go on like, you know, like life happens for me, not to me. This is so fine. I've just got to shift, change some things around. Um, and I will obviously take you guys on the journey of what that looks like dietary right wise and lifestyle while so Lifestyle wise. Wow. I can't speak this afternoon guys um, But I am gonna finish this vlog. I do want to give you an update of the Beachmont chalet because <gasps> So much has happened and I'm so excited. It's honestly gonna be finished in like a couple of weeks. I'm gonna have to start like buying furniture and stuff, which is just insane. So I'll do a bit of an update on the Beachmont Chalet. I will pop that in there. All right guys, so half of the painting is done. This door, obviously not done. If we look up, all the ceilings have been painted white with leaving the exposed wood. Oh, here we go, that's a bit better. Absolutely love it. No floors in yet. Kitchen's been painted white. Tapware is in. Absolutely love it. Love the tiles. Here's a good look. So I've gone with a herringbone, a marble look, appliances, kind of in, kind of not. And this is the side of the kitchen. And then if we come down, light switches are in. Light switches, we've gone for like a charcoal. I know that looks black, but same as the door and that's not fully painted yet. And then we come in the bathroom, we've got the tiles, toilet, we've got the arch mirror in, which I'm very excited about. Tapware, let me show you. So we've got that in, tiles done, and roof the same. How cool does that look? And then I will bring you into the spare room. So again, Everything's been cut in white with the exposed beans. Absolutely love it. Again, we've just got the roof all painted, no lights in yet, big window. And now let's walk upstairs. I'm so excited to show you guys the new bath. So you ready? We come up here, we've got the exposed beans painted obviously no flooring and look at that so we've got the bath with the view which is going to be definitely my favorite thing of the house so i'll show you guys from back here uh, how amazing does that look and then I'll show you the view Not a very nice day today, parachuters. And then when we turn around, just love the exposed wood so much. And this bathroom is kind of done. So you can see the feature tile in the mirror, which I love because we went for a very crazy feature tile. Um, then we've just got, that obviously is not finished. And we've got the feature tile, which I absolutely, love let me show you wow so let me get a bit closer i just obsessed and then we went with like kind of a gray sort of tile black tapware and yeah that's kind of it so far keep you updated